Y'all yeah, want to see some sneaks? Yes. Yeah, let's, let's get go. started. Let's get started. Our first sneak involves solving an annoying problem we all face involving flash and things blocking the camera. Let's give a warm welcome to our first sneaks presenter, Gabriel Huang with Project Clean Machine. Yes. Woo! Thank you. Thank you, guys. Are you guys uh, excited for this? Yeah, yeah let's go. Um, so the other day, I spent an entire night trying to capture this beautiful time lapse of the Milky Way. But when I checked the footage, I found some of the frames like this were ruined by flashes. So I went back home and opened it up in Photoshop and tried to save my clip. Well, I can use lasso tool to select one spark of flash, and then I can use content where I fail to remove it. But remember, I need to do this for every single spark of flash and for every single frame that contains a flash. Uh, this is really tedious, and, and uh, I'm already getting bored. So I went ahead. <laughs> yeah. So I went ahead and invented this new technology, introducing Project Clean Machine. So, Whoa, oh wait, yeah. let me let me show you how it worked first. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, first, you will automatically detect all the flashes in the video, and then with just a click. It will remove all of them. <laughs> Leave me with this clean and smooth shot of the Milky Way. And let's take a closer look at one frame and see how perfectly Project Clean Machine removed all those flashes. Wow. Pretty cool, right? All right, but for this case, if you're more patient than me, you can still do this in Photoshop using Content Refill. Um, it's not a big deal, just a matter of time, but this is not true for all the cases. Let me show you what I mean. Well, let's take a look at this. What a beautiful, stunning moment. And again, some of the frame like this were ruined by flash. And if you take a closer look, the explosion of the firework completely overexposed the frame, and there's no way that you can use Content Refill to fix this. Well, let's use Product Clean Machine. First detect, and then remove. Wow. All the flashes are gone. <laughs> well, let's go back to that frame man, and see. Just, just look at this. Oh, wow. Just look at this. You see? Wow. Project Clean Machine not only removed the flash, it also recovered all the details in this overexposed area. This is amazing, right? Yeah. All right, you know, uh, for those two cases, since only a few frames that were affected, you can probably just drop them, delete them, you wouldn't end up as a very choppy video. But what if you have a video like this? You see? Nearly half of the frames all contain flashes. And you can't just drop them. Otherwise, half of the video will be chopped off. So let's use, uh, so let's use Project Clean Machine. You know the drill. First, detect. And then remove. Just within a few seconds, all those flashes are gone. All right, I have one last example to show you guys. You guys ready? Yeah? Yes. All right, let's go. So Project Clean Machine is not only limited to removing flashes. It can actually be used for something else. So for, for this case, you see there was a person walking in front of the camera and blocked the, blocked the view, right? I can use Project Clean Machine to re remove this person. I just need to select you know, all the frames that were affected, and then with just a, just a click, and the person is gone. Whoa. And I mean, look at this frame. Even though a tiny portion of it was visible, it was able to recover the rest of it, right? OK, um, there we have it. With Product Clean Machine, nothing can get in the way of your perfect shot. Thank you. Thank you.